Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello, and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for the final touches to the new Shmi Mobile, my Shelby GT500, to get it ready for the big tour ahead. I'm back here today at First Class Auto Sports in Miami, Florida, in some good company with the double G-Wagons and the Rolls-Royce Dawn and some more. But today is about finishing off the installation of the paint protection film using Suntec's new Reaction PPF, which offers the traditional benefits of paint protection film, along with a hydrophobic surface like ceramic coating to allow water to bead off nicely. We saw some of that. When the final three parts have been completed, it will then be time to fit the iconic double racing stripes. It's a Shelby Mustang. It has to be done. It was always the plans over the top of the gravel line paintwork. And to do that, we're not going to be using vinyl. We're going to be using Suntex new altered black PPF. I'll show you how that works and some of the benefits of it today as we get this car finished up, the final touches to get it ready for the big adventures ahead. Let's get started with a quick update on the progress so far with the car before cracking on with the process to get everything completed on the GT500 and see how it looks with the stripes. Now like all of the Shmi mobiles, when I know in advance that the car is going to be sticking around in the garage for the long haul, and especially with some of the plans I have, the drive across the USA, taking part in convoys, track days and all sorts, it is important from the very early stages to protect the paintwork so that nothing is needed in future. We got started a couple of days ago here with the installation of the new Suntec Reaction PPF over the hood, the bonnet, and we got to see some of the benefits of the new film, the hydrophobic qualities, the way the water beads off like it's been ceramic coated, but that being built into the film itself. Since then, the guys here have been working hard to crack on with everything. The front bumper has been completed with all of its intricacies and complicated shapes. We've also got film installed on the gloss black central grille, on the running lights around, everything that you look at, the door mirrors, the roof, the A-pillars to the quarter panels, even the end plates of the spoiler but the three panels that remain at the moment are the top layer of the spoiler and the way that wraps around towards the front and the two fenders which are currently missing the Shelby Cobras which will be reinstalled in a moment too but then it will be time to install the stripes now to do the stripes instead of using vinyl what we are going to be using is this Suntex new altered black PPF this is a wet install paint protection film. It is not vinyl, which means it has the benefits of the gloss finish. You can see that piano black style look, as well as self-healing and additional protection from stone chips and any light damage. This means you get a complete factory-like finish. Now, you can order the GT500 either with the vinyled over-the-top stripes, or if you want to pay $10,000, you can have the painted stripes. Now, we've got the measurements to do the same look as the painted stripes. Those have been run through the system. You can see the full roll here of the altered black PPF. They've been plotted out and now we've got those ready to be installed using the masking lines which have been measured, remeasured, and measured again to make sure we get them straight. But starting from the lower lip, coming up over the bonnet, towards the vent, up towards the windscreen, of course not on the black roof, but if you didn't have the painted black roof, you could do the stripes over the top. Then they come under the wing, over the trunk lid, down through the rear bumper, towards the bottom. And I cannot wait to see the finished effect. But before that, we've got a few more panels to install with the PPF, then it'll be time to get the stripes fitted. Time for the PPF. So we've got the panel here for the front fender. A lot of slip solution used to make sure that when it goes down, it doesn't stick directly into place and can be maneuvered around before it will be properly affixed. You can see how that's just been loosely templated to make sure it will go into place. And the thing that I mentioned before that I always find so fascinating about this is how that currently, obviously you can see, but eventually is going to completely sit flat on the surface, which again is mesmerizing to watch. This is where the fix solution is then used to fix it down into place, starting from the corners and the pinch points, because of course working with a panel like this, you have the curvature in multiple different directions, needing the film to be massaged into shape, into position, and then we'll have the process of this vanishing in front of our eyes. Here we go, the magic happening as the bubble starts to disappear. Obviously a vulnerable section with stones that fly off anything towards the front end can get a stone chip. A lot of spray used to make sure it's ready to be stuck down. Obviously you've got to work the shapes where it slightly cuts in on itself and where we have the pinholes for the Cobra badges to be worn on the side as well. As if by magic it all just starts to disappear. 
It's really fun to watch. And just like that, it tucks under, the bubbles are released, magic. It is time for the stripes, and step one is to use the masking line to find the central space, where they're going to be placed. Obviously, the PPF will be attached either side of those. Simultaneously, this panel is settling into place, but effectively going all the way around to measure this up to make sure that the central line is the correct width and looks straight, visually measured straight as well, because obviously that is going to hinge exactly how it all looks afterwards. To make this a small touch easier, This is where I should run an eternity later. We've been making sure that the central line is absolutely dead straight and bang on in the middle, obviously down to the Shelby splitter here as well, up over through the vent to the glass. So starting from the front, now to install the altered black PPF. Because this is a PPF product, not a vinyl product, that is why in exactly the same way the surface is prepped, obviously being cleaned, this is on top of the PPF that's on the hood itself. It's applied on the wet surface. It will be moved exactly into place up against the central line, which will of course be peeled away later on. But here we have it, the altered black PPF, which shuffles into place before being applied with the process that we've seen before, with the fixed solution underneath to stick it down. And obviously with the benefits of PPF on the top, and also the self-healing capability so it won't scratch up from light surface scratches that you get with cleaning, as I often tend to do, I must confess, out on the road, and will look fantastic with that proper paint-like finish, deep gloss black. This is really cool. We're gonna see it all very shortly. On goes the upper hood on the other side. Not quite sure how to name all of the different parts. Lined up into place. This is going to look so cool. I always intended it. Remember, I found the car via Auto Tempest. So searching from the cars that are available on the market, this in the Grabber Lime was my choice, only missing the stripes, which we're now adding back on. Pulling away the masking center line then. Check that out. That already looks cool, and it's just the beginning. Still some more to go to get this completed. A few more parts installed at the front, peeling that back. This is really, really cool. And the finish is amazing as well. And of course, my car came with painted black mirrors and a painted black roof. But this is where if you didn't have those, you could use the altered black PPF for the purpose. This result is gonna be so epic when it's all finished. It is proving to be much harder to get the masking lines in place at the back, especially up here, where you have these lines in the panel. You can see there's one that runs about there. And there's another one up here too, which are very deceptive when you're standing back trying to get these dead straight. But of course, they will be going on permanently on the car. These are gonna be staying on it forever. So we need to make sure they are absolutely spot on. The challenges continue working around the fixed carbon fiber wrist spoiler. Technically, you could take this off. Of course, it has the mounting brackets to change the angles as well. It's currently sitting in the reduced drag angle, which wouldn't be perfect for track, but would be ideal for the longer distance road trip we're going for. The same process again to install and fit the PPF material. Most unusual to be doing it with PPF, but of course the finish is just to another level. Come around and have a look at the front here. It hasn't had the final level of trimming, but the quality of this, when you look over it and you see the reflections back from the black versus the paintwork, look at this. The result is awesome. This is really, really nice. It looks like it's painted. These look like painted stripes onto the car, which is magnificent. To complete it at the rear here, the rubber seal has been lifted to tuck everything in incredibly neatly. Now this of course sits behind the license plate or in future the number plate when I have the UK plate on it. Obviously slightly different shapes between US plates and the UK ones. So we need to make sure that it looks very, very clean behind that. And this is gonna go in, obviously we've still got the central tape lined up at the moment. But this is, this is starting to look pretty cool, exactly as intended on the top of the PPF and the removal of the stripe. Something very satisfying about that as well. Perfect. That's very satisfying. You start to see the result. That iconic twin stripe 
over a Shelby Mustang. There we have it. Fast forward a little bit and all of the PPF has now been installed. The stripes have been finished and are looking superb, all trimmed and finalized into place. Of course, we need to refit the rear license plate, but being a Florida car, thankfully, we actually get away without having one up front. Talking of the front, look at the stripes here. They are looking fantastic. This is exactly how I hoped they were going to look and precisely how I would have ordered a GT500 from new if I had been patient enough to wait for a new order as opposed to finding a delivery mileage car via Auto Tempest. However, there is one more thing that we're going to be doing to this car, an additional flash of colour. You will notice down here the bright red of the Brembo brake calipers that sit behind the lovely carbon fibre wheels. We're going to carry through some of that colour towards the stripes on the car too. Now I've seen this a few times on some Shelby Mustangs, GT350s, GT350Rs, GT500s to add a pinstripe to the outside of the dual stripes over the car and in fact we have already found the material and set out the pinstripes we're going to be doing on this car just to give it a tiny flash more colour to make it unique like all of the Schmemobiles, something distinct about this specific GT500 and we've just done a small test fit, it looked the part so let's get started and get all of this finalised up. First little taster then for how this is going to look and I can tell you already that contrast is very very strong, the red against the green and the black, this is going to be really cool and carefully goes on the other side as well. I can't wait now to see this finished. This is really, really, really nice. Has to be absolutely precise. I love it. Jump ahead, the front has been done and all I can say is yes, yes and yes. This looks so good with that red pinstripe. Small details, but just making the car a little bit more unique. Now I've been considering as well doing some other touches. For example, perhaps the inlays here on the GT500 lettering, the inlays maybe on the splitter with the Shelby logo. But I suspect down the line that these parts are possibly gonna find themselves being replaced with some in carbon fiber, also the hood vent. Now as a quick test, We've tried the pinstripe here on the door mirror cap. I don't think I'm gonna leave that on. I really like how subtle this is running down the stripes, but making the car unique, making it, I, it's just so good. I'm really, really happy with how that's turned out. Well, there we have it. The car is complete. The PPF over every surface, the stripes are finished, all the pinstriping details tucked in, and this is looking incredible. The look of the Schmemobile GT500. I've been waiting for this car for a long time, super excited for what is to come with it, especially now with this completed look. It will be slightly harmed when it does eventually go back to the UK, as I go back when it goes over to the UK, because of course, that time it will have to wear a front plate and by the way the plate I plan for it is SH 67 MEE the first GT500 was back in 1967 so this will sit alongside my Ford GT with SH 66 MEE and the Heritage RS with SH 68 MEE 66 67 68 on the three Fords the supercar the muscle car and the hot hatch which is going to be incredible I cannot wait for that but of course before then there will be many memories to build up with this car taking it across the USA it will be over here at least until later in the year we'll have to see exactly what happens happens down the line. You might remember in my 10 unusual things about the GT500 video, I did allude as well to something fishy with the rear suspension. Well, I can tell you we know exactly what that is, and I'm going to be showing you more about that very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. But this is perfect with the Suntec paint protection film, the new Suntec reaction film, the Suntec altered black stripes as well with the paint protection film stripes finished off with those small red accents and details the pinstripes just the perfect icing on the cake to create a unique look an oem style look with the black stripes but one that is distinctly this car as soon as you see it and obviously like i said i think there will be the arrival of some carbon fiber addison composites and ford performance are offering a number of different carbon parts from the splitter to the splitter wickers to the front grille to the hood vent to the side skirt to these additional skirts i think maybe down the line some mirror caps might arrive and then towards the rear of the car the diffuser as well and i do love my carbon fiber it will look the part and go very very nicely on this so a huge thanks to suntech for supporting the paint protection film on the newest Schmemobile with their new Suntec Reaction and the altered black PPF. And of course, also to the guys and the team here at First Class Auto Sports in Miami for carrying out the work, for getting it ready for the big trip ahead. I cannot wait to take this car across from one coast to the other. Always been 
a dream since it launched that I'd be able to purchase one over here in the USA to do so many miles with it and eventually to bring it back to the UK to live in this museum with the others. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching guys. I appreciate your support as always and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!